In my last film of Friday, if you watched, I printed a chess piece. And I also used Simplify 3D and got some really strange results. I was getting gaps at the bottom of the spiral. Well, thankfully, Angus at Maker Muse, a fellow 3D printer guy on YouTube, he took the file for me and sliced it with the latest level Simplify 3D, which I don't have and I can't easily upgrade because mine was donated and I don't own the registration to it. Well, I got the results back. Now let me show you the difference. Now just to remind you what I was getting before, here's the print from Simplify 3D. You can see the gaps underneath the spirals. This just wasn't acceptable. So this is the file that I sent to Angus and let me show you the results. So I loaded the file that I got from Angus into my Fabricator Mini and I could tell right away once it started printing the base this was a lot better. And I could tell the spirals themselves had less nerds and the head seemed smoother as it printed. So overall this was definitely better than the Simplify 3D file that I had. So here's a close-up of the head and it looks a lot better. The ears look good, the top looks good, the detail is good, and then the base, the spirals looked excellent and no gaps underneath. Clearly this is a better result than the earlier version of Simplify 3D that I've been using. So then I compared it to the one I really liked, which was my Cura at 0.2 millimeter layer height. And this one took a lot longer to print, 11 millimeters per second versus like 40 millimeters per second for the uh, Simplify 3D. So when I compared the two, I couldn't tell them apart. I had to mark them just so I would know which was which. And here you can look at them and see very, very equal in quality except Simplify 3D printed a whole lot faster. Now a few people asked me to try and print it on my Reflash DaVinci 1.0a and I did that. The only one I could do was Cura because I had couldn't resize it or reslice it for Simplify 3D without sending it back to, to Angus. But the results just weren't any good. Um, I could only get it to print at 40 millimeters per second so I couldn't slow it down enough but still the results just just weren't good. And this is what I found with the DaVinci Extruder. It's just not as good. And after using the Fabricator Mini and realizing how good that E3D V6 design is, and I think mine's a clone in the Fabricator, even a clone prints better than what I'm getting out of these DaVinci printers. And that's why I've backed away from them. It's not, you know, their whole cartridge thing and all that, which did upset me. It's just that they're outdated. Um, I want better prints. I'm spoiled now and they're just not keeping up. So all this time I've been trying out Simplify 3D and it was the software that was bad. Who would figure that? I didn't. I didn't think it was that big a difference but it clearly is. That Simplify 3D version 3 and beyond is a huge difference over the 2.2 version that I've been using. Oh, so many hours I, I went into that software and adjusted things and played with stuff trying to figure out how to get better prints that I saw other people getting and I just I thought it was me I just thought I wasn't you know adjusting things right doing it right now I know it wasn't me it's kind of of a relief but anyway it looks like now I got to break down and buy an actual official version of Simplify 3D and that's that's what I'm gonna do I like having the free versions like Cura and Slicer but I tell you what Simplify 3D actually simplifies things a lot it's a great name because that's exactly what it does it simplifies 3D printing and it's not cheap $150 but thank you to my patreon supporters half of its already paid for so once again, you guys come through big time. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned something from this. I'm not trying to sell you on Simplify 3D. I get nothing in the as a royalty or anything like that. But I want you to have the best 3D printing experience possible. And man, I guess it's worth the money based on what I'm seeing. You know, Cura, really, really good. But I've had problems with it. So maybe there's other problems with Simplify 3D, but I'll find out. That's it for now. I hope you liked this follow-up. If you did, give it a thumbs up. 
And if you like my channel, if you're just first time you're watching, I got a whole bunch of Film of Friday videos. I got some CNC videos. Go check them out and subscribe. That way you won't miss any future videos. So that's it for now. I'll see you next time.